For this Scratch Junior tutorial, we're going to make a simple game that helps students with their spelling and word recognition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new project by clicking the circle with a white plus sign in the middle. And I'm going to add three more screens on the right hand side so there are four total. Notice that Scratchy the Cat is on all of the screens, and if you don't want him as a character, press until he wiggles and X out. You can also press on the left-hand side until that wiggles, and you can X it out. The third slide, and the fourth slide. On the left-hand side is where we can add characters, so I'm going to start by clicking or tapping the plus sign on the left hand side and I'm going to put in a couple of animals. So a lizard, check mark, plus sign and add another animal, butterfly, and another animal, And finally, one more to the last corner. And what I'm going to do next is tap on the ABC at the top and type in the word that I want the player of my game to recognize. So I'm going to start with the word frog. And notice the three A's that are ascending in height. I'm going to tap on that and click the largest A to get the largest size of font. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my screen. So what I want to have happen is my player of my game to tap on the word, sorry, tap on the picture that matches the word. And notice I am on slide four here. I'm just going to drag that up to the top here so it becomes slide one. Just made a small mistake there. So this is the first slide, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some directions playing as soon as my game starts. So it doesn't matter where you put these directions on any one of the characters. I'm going to start with the yellow block and drag down a green flag. So when the green flag is tapped, I want some instructions to play. So I'm going to click on the green block there and then I'm going to click on the microphone. If you don't see the microphone showing there you need to go to settings and allow access for Scratch Junior and the microphone. I'm going to tap the red circle once to start recording. Tap the picture that matches the word shown. Tap the red button to stop recording and then the check mark then you'll see the microphone with the number one is available to drag down and snap into the green flag. I'm going to end this program with a red block and let's see how that sounds. I'm going to tap the green flag, tap the picture that matches the word shown. Alright, so now I need to go through each of the pictures and decide what I want to have happen if they, the player selects the wrong picture. So let's start with a lizard. So instead of saying when the green flag is pressed, we're going to say when the person, the player, taps the lizard. You can have a couple of things happen. One, you could have a speech bubble that's located underneath the purple. I could say not high but maybe try again and then put a red end cap there. Let's do one for the butterfly. This time we'll say that when the butterfly is tapped, maybe record another sound. I am a butterfly. Try again. Press the check mark drag that microphone with the number one down and then put the end on it and I'm just going to jump ahead to the frog. The frog is the correct answer so what I want to do is 
drag down the yellow block that shows when the frog is touched. I'm going to make another sound by tapping the microphone. Ribbit, ribbit, you are correct. I am a frog. Press the check mark, drag the number two microphone down, and this one, instead of ending it with a solid red, we're going to end it with slide number two so you can move on to level two. And that's where you can create your next level with more pictures and another word, and then slide three and slide four. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. Press the, actually, if you want to go full screen, there's this icon in the upper left hand corner that goes full screen. Now I'm going to press the green flag. I don't know if my volume is not working or what, but I'm going to press that again. The lizard says try again. And the bird, I don't think I programmed the bird to say anything at this point. There's the butterfly and the frog. For some reason, my audio is not working, so I'm going to do a little troubleshooting. I'm going to exit out of full screen mode and go back to slide one and see if it works when I'm not in full screen mode. So it looks like it's wanting to play. You can see that things are highlighted when I tap on them. The green microphone is lit up, but for some reason the audio is not working. So if you run into that, just try to troubleshoot through it and see what happens. Um, it was working, but I'm not sure what happened. So that's the beginning of a word recognition game that you can create in Scratch Junior.